Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the 3G 4G Wireless Communication Systems playlist. So today we are going to discuss about coherence time of wireless channel. So this is actually a short note type of question, guys. I'll just uh, explain in a while. I will not take much time for this one. Just one or two minutes. I will just give a brief introduction about uh, what is meant by coherence time of wireless channel and uh, the formula obviously you will you are able to see in the screen itself right okay so the coherence time tc is the approximate duration of time for which the wireless channel can be assumed to be constant and it is given as tc equal to 1 divided by 2 bd where bd is equal to 2 into fd and bd stands for doppler spread and fd stands for doppler shift frequency okay so now this is all about uh, just the theory thing i will just explain it, it with help of a diagram so that you can better understand so the coherence time tc is the approximate duration of time for which the wireless channel can be assumed to be a constant so coherence time is something where the channel can be if it is a uh, let us say this is the response of a channel okay so it is something like this and this is the coherence bandwidth so coherence bandwidth it is denoted as bc so if you don't know what is bc and coherence bandwidth then you can definitely check the playlist or else you can check the description of this video we have already made a lot of videos on 3g 4g wireless communication system so if you are preparing for any university or college exams then i highly recommend you to check out the playlist so that you can get all the things related to that one that is the 3g 4g wireless communication all right so coming to our topic now so this is the bandwidth over which there will be a flat uh, i mean frequency response or the channel response hf f will be constant or flat so i can say there is much similarity in the response of the channel i mean here we will be having similar frequency components so they will be giving a similar response so that's why I will be having a flat curve here okay so now this is coherence bandwidth the corresponding time for the coherence bandwidth we will be calling it as coherence time so that is denoted as tc so now you can uh, clearly mark here the coherence time tc is the approximate duration of time for which the wireless channel can be assumed to be constant so the wireless channel here it is constant from this point let us say from point a to point b its response is constant in between these two points and the time corresponding to that response for which it is constant is called as coherence time or else in other way i can say the bandwidth for which the response is flat and that bandwidth is mapped onto a time axis that will be giving me the coherence time of that particular channel and it is denoted by 1 by 2 bd so bd is obviously 2 fd so bd stands for doppler spread this also i have explained and uh, doppler shift frequency so i can write tc equal to 1 divided by 2 into 2 fd here if i replace bd with this 2 fd then i can write 1 divided by 4 fd so finally i i can conclude that the coherence time is equal to 1 divided by 4 fd so that means it is inversely proportional to the doppler shift frequency denoted as fd so this is all about a short um, a short note on the coherence time of a wireless channel hope you have got an idea how to explain the things and how to write in exams obviously so if you are having any doubt in this one you can just ask in the comment box or else if you have still not subscribed the channel please guys do subscribe and thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.